my gosh. Welcome, everybody. You're about to see the basics of Magalore Epilogue. So this is one of the cutscenes from Story Mode that you recently saw in my stream. There he is, the same scene in the trailer. No. <clears throat> No! Magalore! He is unconscious! Alright guys. So, to get into everything that is happening right now. Magalore has landed in this weird dimension. <coughs> He's now a gray looking color. After being defeated by Kirby, Magalore woke to, to find a, he lost his magical abilities and much of his strength. The tale of the uh, of his tri a, a tri a tri um uh, um return now begins. Collect magic points uh, to restore Magalore's powers. As you defeat enemies. You'll earn magic points. Use these points to boost Magalore's abilities. So, as you can see, Magalore can only do a basic run and jump. Cause watch this. Can't charge that much. And he can't float that much. His levitation is out. Here's one. <clears throat> and with these blocks, you can actually you can actually use these. Oh. <laughs> At least I thought. Well, well, I think on some of these. However, there is a uh, there is a combo. There's a combo count on the top on the top left. So watch, I'll give you an example. The numbers will pop up. Watch. 1 Two, three, and then the combo will give us how uh, how much it will give. So, bomb blocks count for the combo as well. And yeah, I thought uh, I thought Magalor can do. A little charge attack, but apparently he cannot now. Let's go! You... The battle of these enemies is to boost your combo. However, you can only use the ability... It, the abilities Magalore has at this time. However, if you get hit, you will lose your combo immediately. Here it is, the first piece that I, uh, that we like to call the magic fruit. At least, at least I hope that's what that's called. I can't honestly remember from my main. Here we go. Beginning stage complete. So here, on the state on the stage cleared. On the stage clear screen, I was almost said stream. It will show us the magic points and the max combo that we've got. So if you press A, it'll add up to the count on the top left. And then we will arrive here. I will be doing a couple of stages to show you the basics. And that's one slice. Maglor learned Magic Bomb. Maglor can now cast Magic Bomb down and down plus B. That means down and B at the same time. 
uh, thanks to the power of the fruit fragment. Gather the fruit fragments. Each fragment holds incredible power. Gather five fragments. It should gathering five fragments should be enough to restore all of Magalore's abilities. Lost abilities, that is. So if I uh, so, as I press Y here, boost Magalore's abilities. You can use the magic points you've earned uh, to boost Magalore's abilities. Try boosting one now. All right. For demonstration purposes, we're going to be boosting the Magic Spear. And my health. Or Magalore's health. Magalore's health. Uh, health, that is. So we have 14 remaining. That means we need to get more by clearing courses. So uh, this look, this little dotted line shows shows us which course we should go to next. Is coming up next, which is one dash one. So I am going to be doing a couple. You have to be great with your timing, otherwise it won't be that good. So, forgot to mention this earlier. Oh yeah, that's right. So, the cast of the magic bomb, you just miss, you just jump, press down, and B at the same time. And here's something fun. If you use it, if you use your left, uh, I mean right Joy-Con stick, you can, you can do some taunts. Like this. That's the taunt, uh, what, that's the taunt that Maglor does when you tilt up. Left. That one's a little bit sad, by the way. Right. And down. That is actually fun to me. Those enemies require two hits to defeat. That one requires one. Oh shoot, I forgot I forgot about those up there. Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. Or does it? <laughs> That was funny to me. That one requires two. This one requires one. Some of, these, some of these enemies in this course require one to two hits. Possibly three, I can't honestly remember. So I actually remembered this time, I just wanted to get those. I lost my combo. But, that's okay. Because we got two combo. And I really like the loading animation. It actually shows gears instead of stars. Yeah, let me turn up the volume. <clears throat> there we go.
Ow. <laughs> okay. So these actually break when I do this. Just like that. I think this is. Yep, I knew it. Some of the music is actually remixed in here. Oh yeah, this one's big. That one's gonna take a while. That one's gonna take a while to defeat. You have to get away though. There we go. Now I wanna show you something new that, uh, that has been added once I enter this portal. Stage cleared. That's exactly what I was gonna show you. Build up combos. Strike enemies with multiple hits in a row. Build up a combo. And, and earn even more magic points. Get points and aim for, for a platinum ranking. On this one, I got the gold. That has been added to my count on the top left. And I got my first time clear bonus. So now, Maglor can now open ordeal, ordeal doors. Special challenges await Maglor behind every ordeal door. Once Maglor's abilities reach a door, uh, door's required level, it will open. For this one, I, uh, I boosted it to level two, obviously, and now we're gonna enter this one. So this is kind of like the challenges in story mode. Except there's no time limit. So you have unlimited time. That is not what I meant to trigger. <laughs> So at least I had enough levitation to be able uh, to be able to trigger those, to be able to get away from that Gordo. I thought it would just fall into a pit, but apparently there's a bridge. There's a bridge under these moving platforms. Let's go. Dang it! Now I have to wait for one of them to come down, obviously, because I missed it. Ow. And apparently there's no stock items available for Maglor. Let's go! So there's no ranking in this. Alright guys, I am going to do one more level, and then we'll end the basics. You have to kind of like jump, and then do the bomb trick. Do the magic bomb. That one I had to do it twice. Oh, that would have been bad.
for Magalore Epilogue, I usually like to attack the enemies in blocks so I can be able to earn the points. No matter if, no matter, I don't like to forget them on this, I like, I like to remember. So make sure you grab as much as points as you can. I want to add to attack three. And he actually just fell down the pit. Dang it. Now I have to get back up on this platform. Nah. Nope. Uh, I won't be able to get those. <laughs> Threw that one in the pit. Dang it. Oh boy. So I'm actually on the verge of... Oh, that would have been bad. One more hit and then I'm down. Oh, there we go. Strive to be very careful. Let's go. I got the silver. Not bad. Now, one more thing before I end the video. You thought that would be the last thing? Apparently not. <clears throat> now, I'm gonna do one last thing and then we'll end the video. So I'm gonna boost the levitation for this challenge here. So as you can see, Magalore's Levitation has, has been rebooted some. The... That was actually a fast run. First time cleared, bonus. All right guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Remember, collect points and boost Magalore's abilities so he can recover. The five, uh, the five remaining spots are are not available because I didn't get far. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Please make sure you're subscribed and turn on those post notifications so you don't miss out on any of my future content. Have a good day.